Hey hun, look at this variant option for players. It's called Mark. On page 271 of the DMG, it states that when a creature makes a melee attack, it can also mark its target. Until the end of the attacker's next turn, any opportunity attack it makes against the marked target has advantage. The opportunity attack doesn't expend the attacker's reaction, but the attacker can't make the attack if anything, such as the incapacitated condition or the shocking grasp spell, is preventing it from taking reactions. The attacker is limited to one opportunity attack per turn. So this is a free action? Yes. With no limit to how many creatures are marked? Correct. And you only have to make a melee attack. You don't actually have to hit the creature. Yes. It doesn't matter how you make the attack, such as the attack action or an opportunity attack, just that you attempt an attack. And any melee attack can mark the creature. So spells like Inflict Wounds, Thorn Whip, and Booming Blade all work as well. And the opportunity attacks on marked creatures don't consume your reaction. So you can save your reaction for something else? Yep. And you're limited to only one opportunity attack per turn, much like sneak attack. So this is a free ability, limited only by how many melee attacks you can make. It gives you free opportunity attacks on marked targets with advantage, and those opportunity attacks can be done each turn during a round. Correct. As long as you are not incapacitated or unable to use a reaction, you can use the opportunity attacks. Rogues would love this. Having advantage with a free opportunity attack would allow them to always use sneak attack on the marked creatures while saving their reaction for something like Uncanny Dodge. I can see fighters enjoying this as well. At level 5, they can use this feature up to 4 times. That means they can hit 4 people with it. Combine that with a sentinel feat or a cavalier fighter, and you have someone that can potentially lock down multiple opponents instead of just one. But with how the action economy works in 5th edition, it's usually better to focus fire a target down rather than spreading out your attacks. Agreed, but let's say you're the tank of the party. You're surrounded by melee combatants or even enemies that can fly. You doubt you'll be able to take one down by yourself, so use this feature on multiple enemies. You now have given yourself the ability to deal damage outside of your turn. This also makes you more engaged on each turn of combat, which makes combat more fun and makes everything better for martial characters, because goodness knows marshals need more options. And even if you're focusing on one target, this is still a free action that costs nothing to use, so it can't hurt to use it when you can. I don't know how to feel about this. I'll mark that down as uncertain.